I am here at Olympia for the Travel Destination Show. Travel Destinations has been going for over 27 years. What I'm really looking forward to is just the different types of talks they're going to have, loads of travel tips, and then on top of that, there's going to be book signings, performances, and I think there was also a whole bunch of different types of shops, and not just only travel agencies. So hopefully, we're going to have a good time. But enough talking, let's uh, go check it out. So just behind me is one of the theatres, one of two theatres where they're doing the te seminars and talks. It's always a good idea to check the, the lowdown and timetable for the talks. There's usually some really, really good talks that always feeds into like, you know, different ideas on what to do or to travel better. One of the things I was really looking forward to is basically more stuff about North Africa. And actually I discovered there's one particular agency who's actually doing a, more of a focus around Ethiopia. Now, I know next to nothing about Ethiopia. In fact, I actually had a chance to speak to Sam um, about Ethiopia. Hi everyone, I'm Sam McManus, the founder of Yellow Adventures. I founded my company three years ago and we launched in Ethiopia. And as you can see behind us here, this is a Coptic cross from Ethiopia with a beautiful tribal design. Ethiopia is actually the second country in the world to become Christian, which not a lot of people know. And because of that, they've got a really unique culture very different from all the other countries in Africa, very much tied into their religion. If you can pan up behind me here, here's a picture of the house of St. George, which is the name of this beautiful rock uh, carved church, which is made in the 13th century. This is a one single piece of rock that they carved down into the mountain through a doorway and back up inside and inside there's a beautiful church. So when you go to Ethiopia, it's a very mountainous country, it's the Tibet of Africa people call it, but there's also this beautiful rich culture that you can experience as well. It's great for trekking, the food is delicious, there's a uh, really uh, fine grain called teff, which is a superfood, which they used to make in Jero, which is a savoury pancake. And on it you can get vegetable wats if you're vegetarian or if you're a meat eater they have dibs which is just like cooked lamb or goat in the middle and you eat with your hands and it's absolutely delicious so i'd recommend anyone to go to ethiopia anytime there you go man actually this guy has really inspired me to look at it if you open in a lot more detail and uh well this details on how to contact sam here and his website in the description thanks sam appreciate it my pleasure thanks everyone cheers bye so I'm just walking through the whole floor at the moment and there's quite a few different types of agencies. There you've got your Intrepids, your Trailblazer, Flight Centre as well. And what I definitely recommend you do is if you have a strong idea where you want to go travel for this year, maybe come with your dates and your group of friends and try and work lock down that sweet, sweet deal. I'm seeing some great deals because it's the actual show. They're blocking off like 20, 30% on some of their like, you know, mark price prices on their brochure. So, I'm currently in a Dragoman uh, truck. It's absolutely amazing, because this kind of brings back memories from when I actually did the Silk Road trip with these guys. I went from Uzbekistan all the way to Azerbaijan. They do some pretty amazing tours. I do thoroughly recommend it. This is not a paid um, like advertisement or anything. I just think they're really, really good. They get a US school bus, rip it apart, put everything back in, and they create these amazing um, touring buses. What I find is that the staff are really friendly, really well trained and they really look after you. I generally don't do many tours, I prefer the whole solo travel type thing. But for certain countries where it's just a bit easier to move around or the visas actually requires you to actually be part of a package holiday or no, be with a touring company, you can't go wrong with Dragon Man. And yeah, do check them out, links in the description. So yeah, getting all like nostalgic. I may have to book another Dragon Man tour at some point in the future. So yeah, Dragon Man, check him out. So the good thing about Stanford is that they've got this amazing little book festival thing going at the moment. They've got some authors giving a talk about their books. So one of my favorite travel books is a book called Silk Road. 
by Peter Frankopan and he basically talks about the whole Silk Road and I really really enjoyed it. Whilst I was actually travelling from Kazakhstan all the way back to London I actually had a chance to read it and it was great actually whilst you're travelling learning about the Silk Road. So everybody, uh, what are great things I love about destinations, it's not just about the hard selling, you going epic trips, but it's also an element of charity and you know well-being to the world. And I've seen WWF, I've seen like a Greenpeace, but there's a couple of volunteering companies like that spiked my interest and these guys have definitely spiked my interest. Like, why do you introduce, you? introduce yourselves? Okay, thank you Joe. Uh, my name's Toom, I'm the CEO of Habitat for Humanity Great Britain and we are a global charity yep. who build housing for people around the world. Yep. You know, we focus on the most vulnerable in society, whether you live in London and you, and you can't, you're homeless, whether you live in the US or whether you live in, in Zambia, in Brazil, in India or in Myanmar, you know, we're there to help. Yep. We believe that housing is the foundation to a better life. You know, without shelter to keep you warm, to keep you dry, to keep you safe, it's hard to build out of that. It's hard to escape poverty if you have nowhere to lock the door at night and keep safe. So, you know, housing is a fundamental requirement for everyone. Yep. And it's something that we all recognize, you know, across every society, we all recognize a need for a good shelter. Yep. And so our mission is that everyone deserves a decent place to live. And we're here today because in addition to us building, we actually, you know, we actually benefit from the help of volunteers from all over the world who travel with us to the countries where we build, yep. to build houses alongside the communities that we're supporting. You know, it's not just about, oh, here's my donation, though of course that's important, right? Yep. But it's about, here's my donation, and I'm gonna go travel with the charity and find out how my donation is utilized. I'm actually gonna be part of the solution as well. And, you know, so just to say one thing about it is, we think, you know, in terms of understanding a culture, a different country, it's a great way to understand the issues that affect so many people around the world, right? right. Um, you know, living, working with them for a week gives you an insight that is hard to, to find doing something else. Well, you definitely got my interest, and no doubt some of my audience will be also interested. So, Hope guys, so. how do people find you? Very easy. You can find us on our website, which is uh, www.habitatforhumanity.org.uk. On that, we have a list of all our upcoming trips. There's more information about our programs. We do a lot of other stuff as well. Yep. Different ways you can support us, either as a volunteer or um, you know, as a fundraiser. You know, it's all there on the website. We're just a phone call or an email away, and we'd love to hear from everyone, of course. Awesome. Well, you've definitely got my interest. I'll be dropping you guys a quick message. So guys, check them out. Link's in the description. And yeah, see you guys soon. Sounds good. Joe, thanks a lot. Cheers, man. Appreciate right. it. Cheers. So anyway, that is my Destinations 2019. It was really, really good fun actually coming here. Some of the, my highlights has got to be some of the talks that was given, the seminars, it gave me like a different ideas, inspirations, and just general travel tips on where to go next. And of course, uh, a real random highlight was actually ending up in this random networking session to talk with other people who are in the travel industry, from people who are agencies, filmmakers, software developers, and a couple of videographers. So uh, that was really, really great. I hope to see you in Destinations 2020. Tell me what you thought about Destinations. If you went, add it to the comments. And if you're new here, definitely hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos on where to go. I especially recommend where to go for 2019 right here. And uh, I guess I'll see you at the next video.